Hello guys, and welcome to another tutorial from the complete Flutter developer course. We are going to talk about how to create widgets and what are the types of them. And we are going to explore the stateful widgets and create them. So let's begin. Now, uh, the creating widgets and the in Flutter uh, offers uh, Flutter's offer a very offers a very important option that will allow the user to create custom widgets and use them anytime with less time and code. So, in order to create the widgets, it is possible that you find the right ready to use widget that you want or that you want to combine more widgets in order to create a reusable group. So what are these means? We see, we saw in the previous videos how to create a stateless uh, widget that contains a, a build method that returns a widget and have a material app and with home and a body structures. So this, uh, this widget contains these uh, stateless that they don't have uh, data they don't do uh, actions uh, so we can use stateless widget so there are two types of widgets in flutter that you have you can use to create your custom widgets stateless widgets and stateful widgets so let's dive into a bit more detail now the stateless widget remains in the same even if the user interacts with them so remain the same even if the user interacts with them. We see in the cards uh, app we have create. Now, uh, by the way, these lessons are available to download and see, and you can uh, uh, take the full course freely without any cent paid. Uh, available on Master Flutter uh, app, available on Play Store. So go to Play Store and download Master Flutter application and get these lessons. Now back to our stateless uh, widgets. This kind of widgets has no state, so they can they cannot change according to the internal state. They can only react to higher widget changes. The build function of the stateless widget is called only once and no amount of changes in any variables, any values or events can call it again. So it's very important to, uh, to take into consideration this, uh, this, uh, this introduction or this uh, uh, like definition. Now, uh, stateful widget, stateful widgets are dynamic components that have an internal state to manage a stateful widget can react to a state and chain and change accordingly so the state is stored in a state object so what is a state state is actually a data data so the state will be a class extending the state like t extending the stateful widget so abstract class this is definition as a, um, abstract class or attribution as abstract class to trigger the framework to rebuild and the widget and apply the changes you have to call the set the chain set the state function so we see and we, we saw that in stateless widgets that they were configured a build so they build the, the ui the user interface and they are not uh, they are not dynamic they are not uh, like interacting for a user and uh, they are don't uh, don't have or don't trigger the framework uh, to react and uh, give uh, states or data now a stateful widget creates a new state object for each build context so the constructor or the stateful widget uh, use a create state uh, constructor and set state function now 
as a, um, as an, uh, diff a difference diagram for b b of these uh, uh, widgets, stateless widgets, input data, widget, and renders UI. They re render the re rendered when input data changes. Now, stateful input data widget internal state and renders UI re rendered when input data or state changes. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to change them and how to uh, uh, create a stateful widget. So back to our Android Studio, we we go. We have created here the uh, the card layouts. Now let's create a stateful a stateful widget. We are going to create a stateful widget by create by typing class. Or sorry, we are going. We will create okay the the class from the, from the beginning. My app extends, and now state. The, despite using stateless widget, we are going to create stateful widget. So this is how we create a stateful widget and we create a two bra angle brackets and we here we are going to override override method called uh, on state or a state method so i type state and we pass the data by angle bracket as we see in the lesson or the uh, lecture in the previous couple of minutes and we create state so this is how we we create and we return and uh, we return the class return here your class your class so we will return our class now let's uh, put here an override override object override okay now let's change we are going to create to change this class to uh, to another my app state we have created now the class called the states and extend state so you 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 see the difference and the the, the importance of uh, uh, app or uh, importance of stateful widgets so we create uh, first of all class extending stateful widget and we override it the state uh, the state state uh, method now we will return now my my state widget with a class and we use we write them in this way now now um, we uh, we are now going to create we have created now a class extending the state now we have returned this state in the state state uh, method and on create uh, or create a state a method of stateful widget so this is how stateful widgets works in flutter thank you guys i hope you you benefit from our lessons and i hope you uh, say thanks uh, in the comments and subscribe below and subscribe to our channel to get the latest tutorials android tutorials flutter tutorials and coding tutorials thank you guys see you next videos